What's up gals and pals, I'm Coach Vino, this is The Progress Bar, and today is the first installment in my Fall in Amore with Amaro series, and we're gonna start things off with one of my personal favorite Amari, Alberna. So make sure you stick around, cause we are gonna boogie down. First crafted in 1868 by Benedictine monks, Averna is produced in Sicily and made using a recipe that has remained unchanged since the early 19th century. On the palate, Averna coats the mouth while offering a bittersweet taste with hints of orange, licorice, rosemary, and sage. It's a true expression of Mediterranean aromas and flavors. All right, so the first cocktail that I'm gonna be making you guys today using Amaro Averna is called the Queen's Slipper. The Queen's Slipper was created by Ran Duan at the Baldwin Bar in Massachusetts. All right, folks, so let us look at what is in the sauce. The first thing we're gonna need is a half an ounce of our Averna, all right? So uh, obviously we'll start off with our Bottle of honor, a guest of honor, Averna, right? So half an ounce of Averna. The next thing we're gonna need is one ounce of Smith and Cross rum, Jamaican rum. Super stoked when I saw this recipe because any opportunity I get to use Smith and Cross, I'm all about it, folks. Let me move my glass over here, okay? Next thing we're gonna need is one ounce of a sweet vermouth. I'm gonna be using Carpano Antica. As you guys know, this is my go-to sweet vermouth and the last thing we're gonna need is a half an ounce of a walnut liqueur on chino and i'm gonna be using i think it was don chicho and fig leaf this is made down in uh, the dc area so a half an ounce of a walnut liqueur all right and now we're gonna go ahead and just add some ice to our mixing glass all right and we're gonna stir it after about 25 to 30 seconds All right, folks, I think we stirred that bad boy up enough. Oh, that's gonna be delish. All right, so I got my uh, glass here, which has been chilling like a villain. I'm gonna pour the ice out here, and then we're gonna go ahead and pour this bad boy right in there. Oh, man, the, that Smith & Cross, I, I mean, I'm picking that bad boy up. Serious time here, here we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that wash line. Look at that wash line. Stefan, you'd be proud, my friend. Here, we'll do even a little bit more. Uh, here we go, right there. <laughs> All right, folks, so now we're just gonna garnish that with an orange peel. I'm gonna go ahead and express that on there. Rub it on the glass for some good luck. I'm gonna lay it right on top for photographic purposes. <laughs> and there we have it, folks, our, our queen's slipper. All right, so before we get into our next cocktail, let's go ahead and give this bad boy a sippy sip. I'm gonna dip that right in there for a fact. Cheers. Oh, that is really nice. Oh man, I love the way the Averna and the, and the uh, Smith and Cross play together. And then the, 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 uh, the sweet vermouth like really just kind of smooths it all out. This is absolutely delicious and on the back end you're getting that walnut liqueur this is this is a fine ass cocktail right here yep mm. oh absolutely delicious guys absolutely delicious that is fantastic all right now let us get into our next cocktail this one is called the devil's soul this cocktail is created by ted kilgore at taste in st louis all right, so let us look at what is in the sauce for our cocktail. The first thing we're gonna need is a half an ounce of our Averna. Oh man, I, I tell you guys, I am really impressed with that first cocktail, that Queen Slipper. That is absolutely delicious. I feel like drinking it while I'm making this cocktail here. Okay, now we're gonna do an ounce and a half of rye. Okay, I'm going to be using Dad's Hat, which is out in Pennsylvania. All right. And then we're gonna do a half an ounce of Mezcal. I'm gonna be using Madre. All right, so this should add some nice smoky elements to this cocktail. This cocktail actually has a really weird ingredient list. It's kind of all over the place, so I'm interested to see what it comes out like. Then we're gonna do a quarter ounce of Aperol. So we're actually doing another Amaro in here. This is more like an Arpetivo. So a quarter ounce of Aperol. All right. That should add some like some more citrusy notes to it. Um, some kind of a little bit of strawberry in there. And then we're gonna do a quarter ounce of Elderflower. We're just gonna add some floral notes. All righty. I'm running out of elderflower here. It's time for a replacement, all right? I don't use it too often, but obviously I use it more than I think because I ran out of the bottle, all right? Now we're gonna go ahead and put some ice in our mixing glass. All righty. 
And we're gonna start out up, whoa, we're gonna start out for about 25 to 30 seconds. All right, folks, I think we stirred this bad boy up enough. Ooh, that's, that's interesting. I definitely get the smokiness from the mezcal right there. Anyway, so I got my glass here, which has been chilling like a villain. Let's go ahead and pour this bad boy in. Obviously, you can see I am pouring it into a coupe. All right, there we go. Beautiful. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and garnish that with a lemon peel. Oh, what do I got? I got a few here. I'm gonna use a little guy here, okay? All right, then we're gonna spray it on there. We're gonna for the lock, and then we'll just put it right on the rim for the uh, for the gram. And <laughs> there we have it, folks, our devil's soul. All right, so before we get into our last cocktail, let's go ahead and give this bad boy a sippy sip. I'll dip that right in there. Again, it was a really kind of weird kind of collection of ingredients, so I'm interested to see what this bad boy comes out like. Oh, that's pretty good. I mean, look, it's it's definitely the, the mezcal, the smokiness from the mezcal is definitely the prominent flavor here. Um, I think that some of the other flavors get a little lost in that. It's not bad, it's not overwhelming, but I think it's the prominent part of the cocktail. Can't say it's the most complex cocktail I've ever had before. Um, I think between the Averna, the Aperol, and the Elderflower, it really helps to mellow the cocktail out kind of simplifying it, which maybe is why the smoky part of the mezcal really kind of is the dominant f flavor. It's a fine cocktail, guys. I mean, compared to that though, mm, forget about it, but th it's, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, I mean, not my favorite cocktail, but it's perfectly fine. Anyway, let us get into our final cocktail, and this one is called Sucker in a Three Piece. This cocktail was created at the Victory Sandwich Bar in Atlanta, Georgia. All right, so let us look at what is in the sauce for our final cocktail. We're gonna need one ounce of Averna. That is all for you today, sir. Thank you for your service, right? Thank you, everybody. A round of applause, please. <laughs> all right, one ounce of Averna. All right. Okay, and now we're gonna need one ounce of rye. Once again, I'm gonna be using Dad's hat. All right, make sure I get that one ounce there. All right, and then we're gonna do one ounce of cognac. All right, I'm gonna be using Grands Domains, Domains, however you pronounce it. All right, one ounce. I don't do the Frenchy, I don't do the fancy French, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> then we're gonna do one bar spoon of, of, of Benedictine. All right, this I'm looking forward to. It just always adds nice uh, herbaceous notes inside the cocktail. All right, beautiful. And then we're gonna do, uh, what are we gonna do with it? Two dashes of Angostura bitters, one, two. Do a little extra there. All right, and then we're gonna do three dashes of orange bitters, right? One, two, and we'll do a little extra of that too. I feel like you can never have enough bitters. And then we're gonna go ahead and pour some, put some ice in our mixing glass. And we're gonna stir that up for about 25 to 30 seconds. All right, folks, I think we stirred that bad boy up enough. Oh yeah, oh yeah, baby. That tastes like it's gonna be really good. We got some ice in our glass, so I'm gonna be pouring this bad boy in here. Yeah, all right, our glass was chilling like a villain. That's what, I, that's what I should've said. I got a little thrown off by the deliciousness of what I think is gonna be a delicious cocktail, okay? And now we're just gonna go ahead and put a big old ice cube in there. Let me grab one of my ice cubes here. All right, here we go. And then we're gonna pour our drink in. There it is. There it is, a beautiful dark cocktail, just like I like them. And then we're gonna garnish that with an orange peel, which I'm gonna go ahead and express them oils, rub it on for good luck, throw it right on top for pretty purposes. And then we're gonna also use a lemon peel too. This is right, that's right, it is requested that you use both. All right, folks, so there it is, our sucker in a three-piece cocktail. All right, so let's go ahead and give our final cocktail a sippy sip. Cheers to Verna and to you guys. Oh, that's delicious, guys. That is smooth. The Averna is absolutely 
pronounced there. I mean, you're getting some of them beautiful herbal flavors, some of the licorice, some of the some of that uh, those orange notes. I, I, I mean, this is this is actually really really good, guys. I, I'm enjoying this. You know, the cognac adds a little bit of those kind of dark cherry flavors, almost like some chocolate notes. The rye adds a little bit of of of, uh, of some of the spicy bitterness, uh, spicy bites. Also with the with the with the uh, what is it the uh, Benedictine and the this is a delicious cocktail, guys. Absolutely delicious. Mm. Oh yeah, that is so good. The the Queen Slipper and this three this sucker the three piece. These two cocktails were fantastic. Let me give this another sip. Yeah, that's that's just that's just absolutely delicious, folks. All right. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please press like, please subscribe, and please share with your family and friends. Remember, sharing is caring, and when life gives you lemons, make yourself a cocktail. Cheers.